five years. Good morning, Tim. It is here on 184. It's your morning after. Big L's in the building. And right about now, friends, y'all know what time it is. We got to holler at Romy, Romy, Rome, the player from the Himalaya, who's representing for Sideline Sports Agency. And today is Wednesday. So you know we got a wild story that we're going to get uh, from way back. We'll see what that is a little later on in the report. But right now, good morning, Romy. What's good, my brother? Hey, talk for the morning, man, Miguel. Good morning, Bahamas. This is Sideline Sports and Entertainment Bahamas. Turning stories from the sidelines and headlines here only on 194.9 FM. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this way back Wednesday. Got to hop into our sporting report. We actually got some news coming from the local side. And, um, well, we're looking, you know, I guess a couple of, in a couple of weeks, the there will be the CAC Bodybuilding and Fitness Championships. We were looking forward to one of our own. Well, actually, Jimmy Norris will be participating in that event. Looking forward to that. And um, well, actually, the national champion will not be competing in the championship. Actually, she is saying the reason is due to COVID, due the, to the pandemic. She's basically not had anywhere or time to train so um she'll not be competing um as a matter of fact i'm talking about uh jimmy norris and competing um the ministry of youth sports and culture actually held their sports views series um it's actually going to be over 14 days last night was the first night and last night they spoke with the stakeholders or um, persons involved with bodybuilding um powerlifting um, in the Bahamas and you know something very interesting conversation as a matter of fact I didn't even know that one of our very own um, at one point held um, the position of I guess best back in the world so um, again folks um, some very interesting conversations go ahead to the Ministry of Youth Sports and Culture website register check it out become involved with it and hopefully we can get some ideas and some conversations on how like, to get like sports back uh -huh. How do you how do you even judge best back in the world? <laughs> well, like I don't, I don't even like is it the the, the widest back? The, uh, how do you even judge best back in the world? Right? Like I don't. Well, you, you know, know something again for those conversations last night in, in, in bodybuilding. There are so many different divisions. Um, muscle mass, all those kinds of things go into it. But um. Yeah. Okay, it's okay, yeah. buddy. It's okay. Carry yeah. on. You know? <laughs> I, it's just, no. As you said, I was like, oh, how do you know who got the better box? Like, if, if everybody looks fit and they lean, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, but anyway, I guess, like yeah. you said, different dimensions they got to take into consideration. So yeah. Shout out to whoever that was who held that. Like, that's a prestigious, uh, uh, I guess, note, I guess, if you, you know, have the best box in the world, not just in the yeah. box, but in the world. Yeah, I mean, yeah. someone looking at your back and like, yeah. whoa, yeah. amazing. I actually, I actually made the, the, the cover of, uh, of the bodybuilding magazine. So I just said, um, it's, it's interesting. Folks, sports, athletes, enthusiasts, coaches, if you like sports, like I said, go to the Ministry of Sports and Coaches website and um, register and get more conversations. Um, I'll move on to some international sports. So today is drafting getting for the NBA draft. I'm ex I'm excited about draft day actually. I I, I want to see what Golden State does with their pick. I think a lot of teams are gonna hold back on some moves and what's not because a lot of people are anticipating what Golden State is gonna do. Like it is a Golden State will always be a threat in the West. But when I say always, I mean right now they're still a threat in the West. So yeah. you don't want to move prematurely and give them a, a, a opportunity to see Yan first. Yeah, so you have, yeah. I, I think Golden State is one of the teams tonight, and they have the second pick. So I think people are literally just going to hold on and wait to see exactly what Golden State does. And then after that, I think you're going to see all kinds of trades and acquisitions. and trial. I think it's going to be crazy after yep. uh, Golden State. After tonight, for sure, it's going to be wild in the NBA. Well, um, we're talking about the picks, um, just to go through the first first couple ones. Minnesota has the first one, Golden State number two, Charlotte number three, Chicago um, number four, Cleveland, number five. So, um, yeah, there you have uh, this, uh, draft order for tonight's draft. And like I said, definitely. What, what I think is amazing about it is, you know, normally a contender doesn't have a draft pick that high. Yeah, but, yeah. But because of their injuries and the way they played the last season, they ended up in the draft lottery. And, yeah. and, and they ended up being the number two in that draft lottery. But they were, out of their stars are coming back they are a contender already. 
So yeah. for a contending team to actually yeah. have a, a draft pick that high in draft, like it's gonna, I ain't gonna like Golden State have a real golden ticket, bro. Like it's gonna be, I want to see what they do. I really want to see what they do with that. It's gonna be good yeah. to watch. Yeah, well, I definitely. Um, speaking about the draft, um, you know, Lamelo Ball is gonna be entering the draft. What do you, what do you think his chances? What do you think his chances are or coming into the NBA? Where do you think he's gonna land? I think he's going to do good. I don't think he's going to be like rookie of the year or anything like that. I don't think he's going to have that kind of, of season, but I think he's going to be good. Um, he seems to have a, a, a level head. He's a great player. He's had a lot of experience. Um, but I just don't, I don't, I don't see him being the, the breakout star. Like, oh my God, look at him. You know what I mean? I don't see that happening. <laughs> See y'all. Yeah. Their management released a statement saying that they're not concerned about losing or James Harden. They said that the only thing is they definitely just want to make sure that they get the values. I guess kind of like the Bulls trade away the team and end up with a bunch of draft picks for the next four or five years. Yeah. So, <laughs> and um, yeah, seeing that it is um, seeing that it is way back Wednesday, we got a way back sports note. So, Miguel, I was, I was, I know you have this thing about me going way back. Yeah. Okay, tell you what, I was gonna give you a choice: 2012 or 1949. <laughs> 2012 or 1949. Yeah. Uh, 2012 was fairly close. Cool. So let's go to the 49. What happened in 1949? Okay. So in 1949, and like I said, I really love this. Was an interesting um, sports fact. So the National League batting leader Jackie Robinson actually won the National League. Okay. Yeah. All right. Shouts out to the legend Jackie Robinson, yeah. man. That's what it is. All right, well, we thank you very much for your sports update today, Sideline Sports TNT. Folks, don't forget to follow them on social media and hit up the site so you can actually see all these stories and a whole lot more throughout the course of the game. It's the best music on the planet. Morning Timon is always on More 94, so we can jump right back into the party. Don't touch it outside. More music Morning Timon is on More 94. Good morning.